this slide is only to show you that there are 15 chapters of the book, which means there were at least 15 separate areas of American medicine in which I was able to show a long and profound history of medicalized abuse of African Americans. A lot of this history has been hidden from us. And so it's sometimes hard to understand or believe that things could have happened, but I've included some advertisements that appeared in newspapers to show you how common and how open was the abuse of African Americans. So one big part of our medical mythology that we have to do away with is our medical heroes. Who do we decide our medical heroes are? Even today, these are people who are praised as being these great benefactors of medicine. But all of them have predicated their success on the savage abuse of African-American bodies. So science is considered something that is um, above reproach. People will say, you can't argue with that, it's science. Science is pure. Science doesn't have any um, emotion attached to it, doesn't have any opinion attached to it. It's a fact. These facts constitute science. Unfortunately, that's not true. The way it's practiced is it's practiced by human beings. Human beings who have flaws and limitations and make mistakes and who embrace mythology. During the time races were first characterized, you had groups of prominent scientists telling us who African Americans were who First Nations people were, um, who Asians were. But was it really scientific? No. There was a lot of bias that pre predated any kind of research. They already had preconceived notions about who these people were. They merely used science to justify these preconceived notions. And we're talking about taking a bias and an opinion and then clothing it with science. And so we have to be very, very careful that we um, don't use technology as we've used scientific um, uh, theories to simply buttress our biases and our fears, but rather we actually use the data and use um, principles of humanity to determine how we treat people in the medical sphere and outside it.